Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to unbox for you. So this one is from traditionalpocketknives.com. So uh, he's sending me, I believe, a new QSP exclusive. And then there's some uh, rose crafts in here because I am now an affiliate with Rosecraft through TPK. It's something like that. It sounds cool. Um, so there's a little note that says, thanks, man, uh, which is awesome. From Austin, it's my boy. So here we go. QSP exclusive penguin and gray jig tie. He's always got cool stickers and whatnot. And then we have the Rosecraft blade sticker. So what happened was uh, Austin asked me if I wanted to kind of join a new program, I guess you would call it, where Rosecraft Blades is going to send out uh, new knives to a few of the traditional pocket knives affiliates. And then in turn, you guys can use my discount code LEFTY10 at traditional pocket knives on Rosecraft Blades. So my code will work on all Rosecraft Blades, which is awesome. But I wanted to handle them first because I haven't handled. I handled some really early rose crafts, but none of them are like traditional slip joints. So that's what we have here. And then we have the new exclusive penguin button lock from uh, Austin. So let's check all this out. Let's start with the rose crafts. So this one is a Savage Creek gun stock. Okay. And these are made overseas. And as far as I understand, these are super affordable. Um, like, I don't know, $60 or less, I think. Um, nice little box right there, kind of QSP style, I think. And here is a gun stock pattern. We have a dead nut center blade. We have a nice little heart on here, a little crest or what, what do you call those? Shield, sorry. Yeah, it's pretty well done. And then this is like my carta, but it's polished. Pin construction looks like nice back spring. And then we have right here it says D2 steel RCT014. And then there's a sticker on here that says China. So they're not letting you forget where this is made, which I appreciate, right? They're not trying to get one over on you. They're not trying to make you think this is uh, GEC or whatever. And if you look at the price points, actually, I think these are a lot less than $60. We'll have to look it up. Um, feels relatively sharp. And look at that pattern. I mean, that gun stock is nice. Um, I actually happen to have a gun slinger right here, which is a gun stock from Jack Wolf. Now, obviously, they have, I'll grab it. They have a uh, slip joint as well. Actually, I have two of them. I have two gunslingers, man. I'm starting to really pile up the Jack Wolves with the new releases. So here's the original. This is the Gunstock Sharpshooter. And then here's the re-release in hand set. Now, these are also made in China. And these are uh, $300, right? $350 on this. But this is a locking knife, so it's a little different. Now... The idea with Rosecraft is similar, but they want to show, give you traditional patterns and stuff with more modern materials-ish, but at ultra affordable pricing. That's the difference, where Jack Wolf is trying to go all out, premium material, titanium, fat carbon, S90V, belt satin, excellent um, walk and talk. Oops right? Um, this one's hand satin, actually. In this case, you know, you're getting more of a budget finish, right? I think that's meant to be like a hand satin, but it's kind of like a, I don't even know what it is. You can see like really light machine lines in it, but it's nice. And then this one has a stop pin, right? That makes it more affordable, easier to manufacture. It's got a, uh, not a not a stiff pull, not a light pull. It's kind of like in the middle. It's kind of a five, I guess. Um, it's hard for me to grip. I, I struggle with nail nicks. Um, 
Now this one's actually not too bad with my right thumb. I guess because the pool is a little lighter, I can actually nail nick it. I can never do that. Um, and then it feels pretty soft here to here. It feels like maybe a four from there to there. But then from half to close, it's like a five. But it feels good. I mean, I like the pattern overall. It's comfortable in the hand. I like a good gun style. But this is why I like a stronger spring, right? So if you look at this, right? If I put a little pressure there, I'm not just like instantly, right? I got to push it a little bit just to get a little bounce. But if I put a little bit of thumb on there, it's not going to start closing. When you get a softer spring, it just starts and it wants to almost close on you, right? And I don't love that with some traditional, but um, still very good. I, I love the size on this. I can see why people are enamored with what Rosecraft is doing. Um, providing this at a super reasonable price point that we're going to look up in a second. Beautiful design. Very, very beautiful. Great in the hand. Yeah, this I can see. I wish they used something other than D2. I wish they could get into like 12C or something because uh, I rust stuff so easy. And D2 is just so easy to rush. Um, is this a canoe handle? I'm, I don't know everything. This is a Rose Crab Obed Creek, Obed Creek Bow Trapper. Okay. Look at that skull. Whoa. That's wild. So you're talking about steel bolsters, obviously. And again, this really nice micarta or whatever that is. Yeah, it's micarta. This one has a little more, yeah, a little more pinchability there. And it's a banana, man. This is a pistol grip style. Wow, surprisingly comfortable in the hand. But definitely pistol grip style. A little stronger on the spring. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, guys. I get why people are digging these. D2 on this, too. I could see the the appeal on these. Um, yeesh. Really nice, guys. Uh, let's look up the price real quick before I eat my words. Because I think it's pretty affordable. Uh, let's see. So here, Obed, Bow Trapper. So this knife right here is $64.49. 59 so I was actually right 60 bucks 60 bucks for this one um this one looks sexy as hell look at this yeah dude 60 bucks so you know what they're doing they're kind of doing a um rough rider deal here right but they feel a little bit more quality than a rough rider you know um so yeah I I gotta dig it guys I mean what else is there to say? I mean, if you're USA only, you just want GECs, yeah, you're probably, I think GECs, if you get them new, uh, when they drop, right, aren't they like 150 bucks or something like that, maybe? So you're definitely saving money there, and you're able to get into these patterns, traditionals and stuff, and that's, for a lot of people, they just want to try different patterns, try different stuff. And not feel like they're spending a fortune to do it. You know, that's the downside to something like Jack Wolf. Where people are like, man, I can't, I just can't justify the 300. And for those people, I think this is perfect. Also, for the people who want real traditional. Not like, you know, traditional pattern with fat carbon. Which personally is my favorite kind of thing. But I can see the appeal here. So, really cool. So, you guys can pick these up at traditional pocket knives and you can use code lefty10 when you do it let's check this scene uh the uh, spring so it's flush flush and fl yeah and wow flush 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 yeah damn <laughs> these are really well done dude I'm really digging this one. If I could just grip it a little bit better. But even so, really nice walk and talk. Cool. So there you go. There's the bow trapper and the gun stock we'll go with. So check those out at traditionalpocketknives.com. 
Use code LEFTY10 on Rosecraft Blades. I'd appreciate it. They would appreciate it. And uh, it's kind of a win, 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 right? Now we have a new QSP exclusive. So this is the button lock exclusive with Austin from QSP. You get their standard stickers. Some information on the knife you want to see real quick. Pause and read. There's all your specs. Perfect. These come in three variations that I know of. They come in um, gold. They come in uh, gray, like this, and they come in black. So you have, here's some information for you again. Improved sharpening choil, hollow ground, that's perfect. And then here's a box to match the finish, that's really nice. So you have jig titanium, really nicely done. I mean, you can hear it. Button lock with a little bit of a recess there. Swings down nicely. Milled pocket clip that is not reversible. Nice retention there. Thumb studs. Ooh. Ooh. They put a real spring in this bad boy. Flipper tab with jimping all the way around it. Pops. And I don't know if this is the same size. It feels like it as the frame lock, maybe. Um, the one thing I never loved about the uh, the flipper ones is when you get your hand under here, you're kind of being pushed down. And the handle's like just not long enough for my large glove size hand. Like I want it to just be a cinch longer so that I get a full grip. I do get a full grip, but that pinky wants to start sliding off because this flipper tab starts pushing you down, if that makes sense. But you can just ride up on top of that flipper tab. And now you have a flipper choil. It's actually made pretty much perfect for that. This is a departure. Having that really nice hollow ground blade is beautiful. That belt satin too. And S90V, damn. Yeah, he really, he really did pimp this out. Look at that button. It's got like a little circle on it. I really like that. Drops really well. Dead nut centered. Got a really good spring on it, guys. This is surprisingly good. Reverse flicks really well. Even left-handed where I usually struggle because I'm always putting pressure on the button. Um... It works. Let's see how the lockup is. We have a little bit of up and down. No side to side. Not failing it easy anyway. I did I can feel it moving. Um, I could feel it bounce a little bit, but it did not fail. And I'm not gonna do that more because I don't wanna like mess it up. Makes no sense to do that. Um, I like to just do one or two wax. No side to side. And no, it is solid. So it just depends. You gotta you gotta flip it and not have your finger on the button. I think that's what yeah. So if I do this, like where my finger's near the button when it deploys, then it gets a little bit up and down. Or like if I do a lefty reverse flick, my finger's touching the button, it's not allowing it to reset, then you get just a little bit of up and down. But if you're off of it and you flip, there's none. So, um, obviously with a button lock, you gotta be somewhat leery of lockup and everything. But, uh, for the most part, it's a pocket knife, you know, if you're holding it like this and cutting or whatever, I don't, you know, you should not have an issue. I like that little recess there. The jig tie is beautiful. The action on this, this is some of the best button lock action that I think I've felt, honestly. Um, you guys know I'm not a big proponent of button locks. I kind of hate them at this point. But they've got a nice stout spring in there. I mean, you could feel it. It even has a little bit of stick, but that's good. That means it's locked up. Trust me. Um, the thumb flick is great. The stud is in a perfect spot. I mean, it's a penguin, right? And then, obviously, right hand reverse flick. Man, it's stout. Um, there's a little bit of... Uh, movement here it's pretty standard for a button lock one thing I don't love about button locks it's got a weird little gritty feel like right here I don't know what that is 
but if you're pushing the button, you can see that's not happening now. It's free floating at this point. Let go. It's a little bit gritty here. So I think maybe that's just going to wear in or something. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to hinder the action at all. Right? That hollow grind is gnarly. It really reminds me of how they did on the uh, ponies for us. Just really nice hollow grinds. Um, QSP is doing a great job, guys. So, big shout out to Austin. If you guys haven't yet, check out the exclusive Hedgehog as well. It's a QSP model as well from Austin. This, with my code, LeftyTPK, I think is $140 out the door, which is pretty sick. Super comfortable in hand. I think he's still got a few variations. They're all camo carbon. You're talking M390 and camo carbon titanium frame and everything for 140 I mean, That's ridiculous. So the price on this is going to be excellent as well. I don't actually have that right in front of me. Uh, maybe I can pull that as well real quick. Then I'll get you guys out of here. So, exclusive button locks. They're dropping on 322. So, these are actually dropping the same day as those pony stouts. So, get yourself a pony stout and then get yourself one of these. Um, the price on these is... It's probably going to be ridiculous. Um, 165 So, yeah. Basically the same price as the uh, Pony Stout. So that day on the 22nd, you'll be able to pick up one of these or one of these. And it'll be around the same price to get S90V Titanium. Um, both made by QSP. Both really well made. Um, yeah, great job, Austin. This is sick, dude. This is sick. Can highly recommend. Definitely pick one of these up on the 22nd. Um, and then you also have, like I said, the hedgehog, and then we have some rose crafts that are out and these are available now, as I understand it, use code lefty 10 on these for 10% off. So there you go. Shout out to, uh, rose craft for allowing me to, uh, join their little program there. Shout out to Austin for being awesome as usual and go check out traditional pocket knives. I have a link down below. Helps the channel if you pick up anything at uh, Traditional Pocket Knives with that link. And uh, you also have some dope stuff you can pick up as well. Any exclusives, you can use code LEFTYTPK and uh, Rosecrafts Lefty 10 So let me know if you guys have any questions. I love you. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.